Should a woman with a child psychotype have children, if she has no desire to have them? How can one tell if it's just egoism, or if this type of life experience is simply unnecessary? Good question. A very hot topic nowadays. The popular modern child-free movement, which, according to certain ecological, political, or ideological reasons, rejects or doesn't insist on childbearing as a requirement for every woman. Perhaps, at this moment, we won't be discussing the reasons for this modern ideological trend. They are not particularly interesting, and overall, they have been very often discussed back and forth, and from all different angles. Let's talk about you personally. What does that mean for you in particular? You are asking the correct question. Is it just me being egoistic, or is this a peculiarity of my nature? which has determined that this experience is unnecessary for me. Let's try to unpack this understanding. The thing is, that egoism is also a peculiarity of one's own nature, in a way. Egoism is something that accentuates, something that puts an internal emphasis on things, on what is important and what is not. What is more important, myself or the world? Or does the world come first? And then, me. A person with a child psychotype will undoubtedly choose the first option. Myself, of course. I come first, then, the rest of the world. And so in that sense, for a person with a child psychotype, children as actual, real children, would never be a priority. Because if due to certain social or psychological, family or moral reasons, a woman with a child psychotype is forced to put her own children first. She will start to destroy herself. She will slowly kill herself from the inside. For that reason, in this case, egoism is not any kind of stigma that you need to rid yourself of. And it's not any kind of negative character trait. If we are talking about a woman with a child psychotype, it is rather a personality trait that defines a woman as a woman with a child psychotype. People with the child psychotype, including men, are all egoistic. That is their inherent quality. Whether it is good or bad, that's in the eye of the beholder. If it's a person with a parent psychotype, then he would say, it's good, of course. But if it's a similar person with a child psychotype, then he would say, it's bad, because only I am allowed to be egoistic. He thinks that second part, he doesn't say it out loud, because a person with a child psychotype can't stand for his own egoism to be challenged. Whether such experience is important to you, that is perhaps a whole another question that has no relation to the psychotype. Although, perhaps indirectly, because if you actually needed that experience, you would probably be born with a parent psychotype. But even that is not for certain. You have to answer these questions honestly for yourself. The lack of desire to have children. Why? Dissect this down to the microns, meaning, every time ask yourself, why is that? Why? When you find an answer to your question, ask yourself again, why? Why do I have no desire? Because this and that, and why is this and that, and why is the next this and that, and so on. This is quite a universal hack that works great for people with the child psychotype in particular. They ask themselves why. People with the parent psychotype, when trying to get to, to dig down to their own personal internal motivation, must ask themselves a question, what for? These are two different approaches, because child psychotype prioritizes its own personal experience. You came into this world and were born with this psychotype for a reason. You didn't choose it, the psychotype is an inherent quality. That particular state of the psyche is necessary for something. This state of psyche was chosen by your I am. 
your soul did the choosing. Because your inner personal technical task, your individual task for this incarnation was the deciding factor, such as that it can be done much more effectively, easily, more interestingly, with this particular psychotype. It is chosen based on their technical task. And so a person with a child's psychotype will always be asking why. Like children, why is this? Why is that? Why do I want this? Why don't I want this? And every time, your question should start with a why, similar like it is with children when they are of a certain age. And that is how you get to the answer. That is certain. Your egoism is not a stigma. If, in the end of you asking yourself why you come to the answer that you simply don't want to breed competitors for yourself, or because you don't want to spend the time on mothering due to some other interests, that is not a reason to consider yourself a bad person. That isn't a reason not to love or respect yourself. Quite the contrary. The more honest you are with yourself when answering this question, the easier it will be to rid yourself of the burden that you don't actually need. You are not obligated to do something you don't want to, which cannot be said for someone with a parent psychotype. A person with a parent psychotype will be asking himself the question, what for, what for, what for? and in this case won't be led by the notion of, do I want this or not? It won't even come up in his mind, because his personal wants and non-wants are secondary compared to the common benefit. For him, the priority lies precisely in common benefit compared to personal benefit or desire. This is exactly what sets these two groups apart. And if a woman with a child psychotype, to the question about having children, will answer why she doesn't want to have children, then, a person with a parent psychotype will answer the same question with why she shouldn't have children. And that is basically the difference. Now, regarding the question, why to have children, the person with a child psychotype will give her own answer. But there, the priority will lie in the individual desire, individual attitude, based on the question of why. Someone of a parent psychotype will answer based on the question what for, and the answer will demonstrate the common benefit rather than personal desires, such as to continue the lineage, to have a successor, and so on and so forth, meaning that her outlook will be large-scale. A person with a child psychotype should not have a large-scale outlook. Therefore, your question demonstrates your worry. You are worried that it is your flaw. But no, it isn't that at all. No desire is a flaw, even if it goes against a tradition, especially if it goes against a tradition. A person with a child psychotype should listen to herself before anything else and never go against her inner notions, or everyone will suffer. You and your unborn or under pressure born child no one will be happy. That will be my advice to you, Anna.